welcome back to another episode of Bybee League Attic. Me and Chan, we're just out here on the desert exploring around. We're, we're coming down through some cliffs in a little wash. Chan ventured himself up over there on top, but we're just trying to find a way down into all this stuff. Kind of just want to explore it. But uh, anyways, we're going to get going. I'll show you off this edge right here where there would be a little uh, waterfall. And there's kind of like a little cave looking thing. It looks like it's full of water now, but kind of piquing my interest. And I wish I could get down to it, but I'll show you all and let you check it out. And then we'll get going. There's the Chad man up there playing on his phone. Taking selfies. <laughs> Miko, what are you doing? All right, y'all, here we are. We got Chan over there. My eye in the sky is what he says he is. He says, take the pictures. I don't want to come down there. But he sent me down here. But anyways, I'm glad he did because uh, we got paintings all over in the wall right here. Super cool ones. And I'm going to show you and let you check them out. Chan, he's just going to hang out on the cliff line and... It just worked out today. He could see this and he guided me down a crack to get in here. So let's check him out. All righty, y'all. Here we go. So we got a bunch of little people. You got the squiggly lines. Um, this one's really cool. It's a big person. I, I believe that represents some kind of spiritual thing. You got this. In there, a bunch of people, that old black one, got some rams, I got some stuff in red here, can't see them too well. something here not sure what that is super cool though So I got down here below the waterfall. Those pictures are just right over there, the paintings. Spice is up there, she can't find her way down. Freaking out. But we got a seep right here. Um, I could imagine this is probably why they were here. Got their water, wherever there's water around here, there's life. And uh, they probably used to draw water out of here would be my my guess because there's there's plenty of water right here to drink from and it would be good water especially back in those days anyways just wanted to show you well, i just found these little markings in the rock can't really decipher what they are but i i don't know that i can get up there well i climbed up that edge kind of below where i could see them and i got some more up in here that I'm gonna let you see um, and I'll show you kind of where I'm at right now. It's a, it's a cool little spot that I'm in right now. So anyways, so we got that stuff up in there. Some right on the face. Anyways, really cool. You got something right there. 
Not sure what that is, but uh, yeah, this is super cool little spot. Got this another little uh, symbol right here. Pretty cool little deal right there. Oh well, y'all, we just got into this big little cliff overhang. Really cool. Spice finally found her way down through the cliff line to me. I got this one little squiggly here. We got Chan over there acting like a monkey trying to come down a cliff ledge. You're in the wrong spot. If you're trying to come down. Oh, are you going down that same cut I went in? Yeah, when you fall 20 feet. Oh yeah? You cliff dweller? Those other petroglyphs or pictograms that I saw first are right in there. Chan's making his way down here to me. Well, y'all, here we are. We're back. We come up out of them clips from all them pictograms or whatever you call them. I don't even know. The paintings. And uh, just exploring a little more, I found, found like an old makeshift fence. Um, part of it's fell off the, the cliff line right down in here. It's not a big cliff. Just a little ledge. But that's super old. Um, nice little cut back in here anyways um don't really know how old that would be whether it's from the spaniards 150 years ago 200 years ago or you know cowboys and out here and maybe to put their horses right here or whatever it's really hard to say but uh, i just wanted to show you that and uh let you see it it's pretty cool regardless of when it was from um you can see there's a piece of uh, wood that got put in here, but you can see it was cut by hand, a hand axe. Pretty cool. Got some old, old wire on it. Anyways, they got the little fence post here and whatever. It's all rotten out and looks like old cedar to me. But anyways, we're just going to keep going. I got a lot of places to look right here, and I'm just finally getting into an area where I felt like I'd find something, and here it was. So here we go. Well, we're still just kind of working all these rocks, and I found all them burn marks up in there and a little hole, like maybe they were trying to burrow back in there and, and find something, or they found something. There's kind of just like little things like this all over here. Well, Y'all, here we are. Um, I was kind of close by to where this little, like, mine is. And uh, so I just wanted to come back by and kind of look at the symboling again and and just get pictures and stuff. You can, it's a little wet today, it's been raining. You can kind of see the lettering better. It's like a B R X A A or something. Um, maybe it's Latin like the other one that a lot of people are saying it is. But anyways, I had these hats made a while back. And uh, this is actually a deer horn that I found in Colorado back in like 2018 that I had a logo made out of and, and had some hats made out of them. So I just wanted to show them to y'all. Um, I got a few for sale. I don't have many, maybe like 20 between the three different types. But if anybody's interested in a hat, um, let me know in the comments and we'll see if we can't work a, out a way to get you one and talk about it. But anyways, we're just uh, about ready to go. Uh, been a good day today um my daughter's mother called me this morning and wanted me to talk to her right she's been not wanting to go to school at all and just fighting with her and uh i just kind of have felt partly part of that of not being in her life for so long and not being able to be there to guide her and uh she just fights with her every morning to go to school and uh she won't go to school and so i was talking to her about that and uh she just was crying on the phone and wanted to come hang out with me today instead of go to school and 
it just kind of hurt me that uh, I wasn't able to be there, but just kind of been processing that and going through it and uh, trying to figure it out. And I just got to figure out a way to keep showing up for her and just do what she wants to do. Chan's trying to sneak around like a, like a clown. <laughs> Creeper man. Chan, come model these hats for these guys. Come model these hats. <laughs> he don't want to. But anyways, we're just going to probably head back into town and get some lunch slash brunch or dinner. Kind of in the afternoon now. But anyways, um, hope you all had a great day. And I hope you enjoyed the, the pictures that I found in the walls. And just avoid, enjoyed the adventure today. And we will most likely be back tomorrow. And uh, make sure to leave a comment. Hit the like button, subscribe, whatever you want to do, and uh, we'll just catch you on the next one.